We go to Poland as the champions kick off their title defence. This is the main market square in Krakow, Poland's second city. It's the largest medieval square in Europe and the heartbeat of a town that's become an incredibly popular tourist destination as well as the country's cultural capital. It's also the home of Wisła Krakow, who with 13 national titles to the name is one of Poland's most successful clubs. Bogdan Basawaj is the club chairman. Wisła Krakow is the best team in Poland. For the past 12 years, we've practically ruled the Polish league. Eight league titles, always in the top three. There was only one season where we finished eighth. It's the best team in Poland and the most recognisable brand in Europe when it comes to Polish club football. Wisła have made great strides in recent years, both on and off the pitch, including the building of this 33,000-seater stadium which should be completed by the end of the year. Whilst Krakow won't host any matches at next year's European Championship, this doesn't seem to have had an adverse effect on the club. The new stadium is a big part of their long-term vision for continued success. I remember when we played Barcelona here in 2001. Their vice president came to the stadium, and when he saw it, he said, we only have stadiums like this in the fourth division. Now that hurt. So I replied by reminding him what things had been like in Poland over the previous 50 years and what had happened here during the war. But of course, when I came back here for a second spell as chairman, when I talked to the owner about coming back, what really convinced me to come back here was this new stadium. The stadium is like a club's temple. You can build greatness based on the quality of a stadium. You can have a fantastic team, but without a stadium to match, they won't make the same impact. Kazimierz Moskal is currently the assistant manager. He first joined Wisła as a teenager in 1982 when Poland was still under communist rule. He made more than 200 appearances in the first team and is better placed than most to reflect on the drastic changes that have taken place here over the last 30 years. The club has changed significantly. Just look at the stadium behind us and what it looks like now. The same goes for the team and everything about the club, really. The difference is incredible. It's hard for me to compare, because when it comes to the facilities, opportunities and training conditions, there's such an enormous gap between then and now. Despite their domestic success, the manager's dugout at Wisła seems to have been fitted with a revolving door, with no fewer than 11 head coaches having taken charge since 2005. The current incumbent is Dutchman Robert Mascat, who joined the club 12 months ago. His debut season in Poland culminated with a league title. It was not a surprise that we could do this. I mean, it's a big club here in Poland. Um, the surprise was that it was a lot tougher than, than I expected. I mean, it was a difficult road we travelled. It was, uh, especially in the beginning, with a lot of new players, a lot of uh, foreigners together, to, uh, to make it a team. And when we finally, with my staff, achieved it, we started winning games. Mascant's achievement was all the more impressive when you consider the fact that he joined the club after the season had already started and had to gel a squad gathered from all corners of the globe. Midfielder Cesare Vilk is one of the few Poles to regularly appear in Wisła's first 11. It's not easy when you have players from so many different nations, especially in Poland, because teams here usually have mostly Polish players. It was a big problem for a while, but the coach dealt with it fantastically. In the second half of the season, we created a good team that worked well together. It's a tough league. It's tough tackling. It's, it's uh, strong defending. Um, against us, a lot of teams, I mean, we're, we're the favourite every week. Uh, so a lot of teams play on the counter attack, uh, go back all the way. And we have to find a solution for this. So uh, for us, it's not an easy league uh, to play in. Well, obviously, I'm a Dutch coach, so we, we always like to play a little bit attractive uh, in a sort, what, sort of a, attacking style. Uh, when we don't have the ball, try to press early, uh, get the ball back as soon as possible. And when we have the ball, play a good position game. 
However, there's still one massive hole in the Wisła Krakow resume. Appearing in the Champions League group stage has become something of a holy grail for all Polish clubs. No side from the extra Klasa has made it through the qualifying round since 1996, with Wisła themselves falling just short six times in the last decade. UEFA's restructuring of the preliminary rounds a year ago improved the chances of clubs from outside the big leagues for whom the group stage brings serious money. But Wisła fell at the final hurdle yet again this term, losing to Cypriot champions Apoel and having to settle instead for a berth in the Europa League. The goal for us is to at least participate in European competition every year. Most of all, we want to be in the group stages of the Champions League, but it's not easy. Winning the Polish League doesn't bring an automatic place with it, because we're quite low down in the European rankings. Therefore, we've set ourselves the minimum target of playing in Europe every year. And of course, we want to make it to the group stage. That would send a message that Wisła is a club really worth visiting. That Champions League dream is on hold for another year and whilst a strong showing in the Europa League would certainly be a welcome bonus, the focus at Wisła now reverts to retaining their domestic crown. The likes of Barcelona or Manchester United might not be coming to crack off this season, but another triumph in the league would see Wisła equal the record for Polish championship titles and ensure them another crack at that elusive goal, playing with Europe's elite.